Adding interactivity and animation is a great way to take your rooms to the next level. While there are a ton of different ways for you to do that, one of the easiest is to use the set animation method. So just to get us set up here, if I click on Nick and click on the model, you can see that there are multiple frames here uh, and you can add and remove frames for the purposes of creating animation here uh, in the menu options drop down of the pixel editor. But let's say that you already have your frames set up. Now we can go into the code and start from scratch and let's set up an on click. And then we'll use the set animation animation there we go and then there's a ton of options so we'll just do loop for now and then we'll close out the function and so if we just click preview to see what we have uh, we can see that Nick will go through the sequence of his uh, frames from beginning to end so loop just goes one through the number of frames and then starts back over at one another option is ping pong where it will go from one to the last animation and then the last animation to the first so it kind of like snakes back and forth uh, there's also shuffle which kind of randomly picks the frames and then there's single which allows you to just have a single frame illustrated um, or none which means no animation at all so let's play with some of the additional arguments that we can make here so loop or the first argument is going to be kind of the style of the animation. The second one is how many frames of your animation occur each second, the higher the number, the faster it goes. So we're gonna start with two. And then your third and fourth arguments are the start and stop frame. So if you don't include them at all, it will just assume that you want to use all of them, which in this case it will. We can see Nick is moving a little bit slower now because of the two value here. Uh, but let's say we only want Nick to do the first four frames. So in this particular instance, we would say comma one and then comma four. And so if we were to look at all of this in sequence, it would say loop through the animations at a speed of two of the frames per second, starting at one and ending at four. And now if we preview it, we can click on Nick and we will see that he will only do four of the available frames and then we can change these values to say, hey, maybe I wanna start at four and go to eight. And so very similar structure, it's just going to do different frames than it would before. So the best thing to do here is to get your basic set animation set up, and then you can start to play with the arguments to get the effect that you want to make your room move from static to dynamic.